Namaskar, Namaste. Welcome to Skanda Yoga. My name is Darren Weissman. Today we'll be practicing the energy of the yellow seed. This sequence is beautiful. It reminds us to target what it is that we're going after and pursuing our goals and that whatever we set an intention towards and plant that seed right into our heart, if we give it the attention it deserves, it'll grow into fruition. Let's take a very powerful mudra called Sankalpa Mudra. Take your right hand, palm face up, and in your left hand, just make a fist. And in your left hand, imagine you're holding on to an intention, a lakshaya, a goal. And we're going to place that in our heart with Makula Mudra. Sorry, not yet. But first, let's take that seed and plant it in our hand in your right hand and just clasp your right hand. Activate your ujjayi breath, breathing in and out of the nose to the back of the throat, creating an audible sound like the ocean. And imagine that every breath, you're nourishing this seed and giving it the water that it needs to grow. Allow your breath to get deeper every time, building up more and more positivity for the practice. Take Makula Mudra, the bud seal, by taking all five of your fingers in your left hand and touching them together to your thumb, and place Makula Mudra now into your heart center. Imagine your fingertips are forming a laser that's penetrating the very center of your being and into your soul, planting the seed where we will nurture it throughout the practice. We're going to give the seed a little bit of heat. Let's take our palms down on top of our thighs, palms face up. We're going to do a pranayama to generate a heat in the body, Vastrika pranayama. As we inhale, we expand the belly, and when we exhale, we forcefully push the belly into the stomach. The inhale and the exhale both will be quick, fast, and of equal durations. We're going to do 28 rounds. At the end, we fully exhale, engaging Maha Bandha, Mula Bandha, the muscles from the base of your spine contracting and drawing up, Uddiyana Bandha, sucking the belly in and toning your abdomen, and Jalandhara Bandha, the throat lock, to seal it off, tucking the chin, lifting the chest, and capping off the throat. Let's begin. Inhale deep through the belly. Exhale fully. Mahabandha. Bring your palms together in front of your heart center. Return to the intention, to the seed that's been planted. Let's begin with the chant of Om three times. 
and a Purna Mantra so we can have full growth on our path. Inhale deep. within we bow. And let's come to standing in Tadasana, the top of your mat. Feet hip distance apart. Toes slightly in, heels slightly out. Palms together in front of your heart center. Take a deep inhale from your heart to your thumbs. Exhale, release your hands down by your side. Inhale, arms overhead, celebrating the freedom of the day. And exhale, forward fold through Tanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, set your hands and step back to plank. Hold, plank, engage. Hasta Bandha, hand lock. Pointer fingers pointing straight ahead in line with the outer edge of your shoulder. Rooting down through the index knuckle, gripping or clawing the mat. On your next exhale, slowly melt your heart all the way down to the ground. Interlace your fingertips behind your back. As you inhale, squeeze your big toes together, lift up. And exhale, release your thumbs down beside your chest. Coming into a high cobra, shoulders up towards the ears, curl them back, and take your chin back. And your next exhale, float back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. First down dog of the practice, pedal out your legs, bending one knee at a time. Connecting with the ujjayi breath. Listen to the sound of your breath. Let this be your guide and let this inspire the growth. Engage mula bandha throughout the entire practice, activating the earth element in our body from the base of your spine. On your next inhale, bend the knees and look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Root down through the legs. Inhale, rise up. Arms overhead. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump back. Plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or urdhva mukha svanasana. And exhale, take it back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Listen to the sound of your breath. We have all the elements in order and in place, the earth, the water, the air, in order to allow this seed to grow. Inhale, lift the right leg up towards the ceiling, bend the knee and open the hip. You can elevate your left wrist coming onto fingertips or ridge top to square off the shoulders. Look under the left armpit for the right big toe. 
Step the right foot forward in between your hands. Parsva Konasana, back heel down, right hand to the outer edge of your foot. Extend the left arm straight ahead. Bicep along the cheekbone. Bend the top elbow, reach the hand for the back of the head, and push your head back into the hand to deepen your, your back bend and open your heart. Engage the muscles in the back leg, power up the breath, and extend both arms straight ahead for Vira Parsva Konasana. <sighs> On your next exhale, set your hands, step back with your breath, flow through. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the ceiling, bend the knee, open the hip, elevating the right wrist onto fingertips to square up the shoulders, looking under the armpit for the big toe. Step the foot forward between your hands. Utita Parsva Konasana. Back heel down. Left hand to the outer edge of the foot. Extend right arm forward. Bicep along the cheekbone. Bend the elbow. Reach the hand for the back of the head. And push the head back. Opening the heart. Treating every pose as a heart opening to expand the seat from within. Extend the arms straight out in front for Vira. Parsva Konasana, powering up the back leg. Engaging Uddiyana, tone core. And a powerful breath. On the next exhale, set your hands, step back, Vinyasa. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine, arching the back. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Lean forward onto your big toes. Root down, inhale, rise up. Arms overhead, pinky fingers hooking in. And return to Samasthiti, palms together, touching the top chakra, third eye throat, and heart. Deep inhale from your heart to your thumbs. Exhale, squat down, Utkasana, chair pose. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, step back to a plank, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, take it back. Right leg forward in between your hands, back heel down, bend the front knee. Inhale, arms overhead, one breath. Exhale, set the hand, step it back, vinyasa. Surya Namaskar B, traditional style. Left foot forward in between your hands, back heel down, bend the front knee. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, release the hand, step back, vinyasa. Five deep ujjayi breaths in your down dog. <sighs> Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, and return to Samasthiti, palms together in front of the heart. One more time, Surya B, this time Skanda style, inhale deep, separating the feet, hip distance, exhale, squat down, touch the ground, inhale, arms up, overhead, hold for five deep Ujjayi breaths, hips back and down. You can lift up all ten toes, engage Mula Bandha. 
called Uliana. Lower halfway down, Ardha Utkatasana. Heart melting, shoulder blades squeezing. And Uttanasana, forward fold, extend the legs. You can bring your fingertips in front of you. Back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back to plank. And lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, lift the right leg up, lean forward, shoulders past your fingertips, do a push-up, push, back, three-legged dog, step your right foot forward in between your hands, hands on top of your thigh, and pause. Back heel is up, so we can go into a deeper back bend. Reach the arms forward, scoop tailbone, exhale, shoulders back, inhale, sweep arms overhead, and exhale, melt your hips. Inhale, push your back heel back, engaging your back leg, ascending energy. Exhale, melt your right knee deep, ascending energy. Inhale deep, breathing into your heart space. And exhale, set the hands, step it back, take the vinyasa. Maintaining the ujjayi breath throughout your practice, in and out of the nose, Powering up the back of the throat. Inhale, left leg up. Lean forward. Shoulders past the fingertips. Lower down. Push back. Three-legged dog. Step the left foot forward between your hands. Hands on top of your thigh. Back heel up. Engage Uddiyana. Tone, tone stomach and abdomen. Reach the arms forward. Exhale, shoulder blades back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, melt your hips. Inner rotating back leg, outer rotating front leg, engaging the core, breathing into the heart. Every exhale, take it a little deeper. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, set the hands and vinyasa. Five more deep. Ujjayi breaths. Every breath, every inhale, every exhale, we're watering the sea. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the front. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Mula Bandha, activating the earth element. And exhale, Ardha Utkatasana, halfway. Deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump back, plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right leg up to the ceiling. Lean forward, shoulders past your fingertips. Do a push up, push back, three legged dog. Step the right foot forward in between your hands. Hands on top of your thigh. And pause. Scissor the hips, pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Cactus the arms. Take the elbows forward, wrists back, and scoop your heart up. Take your throat back, chin back, and look back. And when you can't look back any further, inhale and exhale. Extend energy out from your heart through your fingertips, taking the arms straight up. And exhale, vinyasa. Set your hands. Nice. Inhale, left leg up, lean forward, shoulders past your fingertips, lower down, push back, and step your left foot forward between your hands, and hands on top of the thigh. Scissor the hips, pulling the left hip back, right hip forward, cactus the arms, elbows forward, fingertips back, scoop the tailbone, lift your heart, take your throat back, chin back, head back, look for the back of the room, 
Inhale energy from your heart. Exhale, take that green energy and shoot it out of your fingertips. Prana Shakti coming out of every pore. Exhale, forward fold and step back, vinyasa. Step the right foot forward in between your hands. Back heel down, hands on top of your, your hips. And we're just gonna take the hips back to widen the sit bones and then come into Trikonasana. Extend the front leg straight, take the right hand down to the outer edge of your foot and take left arm up. Power up your back leg, power up your breath. Scoop tailbone, open your heart Experience the freedom in the pose. You can take the block or your fingertips a little further away from your foot to the outside, even off your mat, and really open your heart. Take your left hand to the hip, bend your front knee, shorten the distance of your legs, and take your right hand in front of you for Arga Chandrasana, half moon pose. Once you have your balance, left arm comes up, Head goes back, you can stay here and hold it, or you can bend the top knee into your chest, reaching for the foot and kicking back into Ardha Chandra Chapasana, sugar cane pose. Open heart, head back, and release the hands, standing split, Urdhva Prasarita Ekapadasana. Now inner rotate the top leg. If you want to go deeper, take the opposite arm to your shin, like Mari is doing. And set your hands and prep for Adho Vrakshasana. Handstand or handstand prep. Either take it up all the way or take a few hops up. And Vinyasa. We'll do it again. Left leg forward in between your hands, hands on top of your hips, back heel down. Take your hips back and apart, widening your sit bones, extend the front leg straight, take the left hand down to the outer edge of the left foot, extending the right arm up, and breathing into your heart space. Mulabandha, Uddiyana, Ujjayi breath. When we do perform those, we activate all of the elements in our body. We also balance our chakras, allowing all of our goals, our dreams to manifest. Take your right hand to your hip, bend the front knee, take the left hand in front, shorten the distance, and come into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. You can take your block and place it in front of you. Yeah, like that. You can even bring it up to the side over here. Just gives you a little bit more support. Bend the top leg into your chest if you did it on the other side, and go into Ardha Chandra Chapasana. Standing split, hands down, no tension in the head or the neck. You can outer rotate your front leg to lift it up higher and then inner rotate the top leg squaring off your hips. When you're ready, set the hands and take a few hops up or take it all the way up. Step the right foot forward in between your hands Good. and hands on top of your thigh. And interlace. We're going to take our hands, interlace them behind your back, push your knuckles into your midline to open your heart, cracking open the outer layer of your shell 
and then extend the arms down. You can take Kali Mudra, pointing the pointer fingers down. Yogi's left, right thumb on top of left. Yogini's left thumb on top of right. Use the spanda energy, the pulsation of your breath, to get deeper and stronger in every pose. Inhale, back heel down, humble warrior. Virastabhasana, bending front knee and bowing towards the left side of your mat. Back leg remains very strong, very active, very engaged. Continue pushing the hips back towards your left heel while bending your front knee. Ekapada Kundinyasana. Take your right arm underneath the right leg to the outer edge of your foot. Wiggle the foot out to the side and push through the heels. Hold here for a few breaths. And then Vinyasa. Left leg forward in between the hands. Hands on top of the thigh. Interlace your fingertips behind your back. You can push them into your midline. Open the heart, shoulders back. Extend the arms down. Point the pointer fingers down. And melt your hips. Back leg remains strong and straight. Every inhale, powering it up. Ascending energy of Shiva. And every exhale, melting the hips. Scooping tailbone forward and down. Shakti energy. Back foot flat, come into humble warrior, Virasambhasana. We fold to the right. Continue to inner rotate your right leg as we outer rotate the left knee. Tendency here is to collapse the left knee inward. We want to continue to open it up in outer rotation. Ekapada Kundinyasana 2. Take the left arm to the outer edge of your left foot and kick through your heels. And Vinyasa. Step your uh, left foot forward in between your hands and come to standing with your legs wide apart, facing the side wall or wherever you are at home. <laughs> hands to your hips, separate your legs, toes in, heels out, arch the back, look up, heart up, exhale, forward fold. Set your fingertips in line with your big toes. Push the hands down firmly into the ground. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine and walk the fingertips out in front of you. Bend your knees and bring your hips back. Arch the back and look up. Keeping the knees bent, inhale, arms up. Extending them straight ahead. Vira. Deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Extend the legs straight. And lower the crown of the head down. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale, walk the fingertips out in front. Bend the knees. And cactus the arms. Squeeze into your midline with the elbows and now straighten the legs and straighten the arms. Maintain the engagement in the thighs, squeezing your adductors in, your inner thighs engaged. Deep inhale and exhale forward fold. Take it to your edge as far as you would like. You can walk the fingertips behind you, lowering onto your chest and chin. You can lower the crown of your head down or come onto your forearms. And slowly start to heel toe the feet together. And come out. Squat down, preparing for Akasana.
knees apart, big toes together, separate the hands wide, and take it up. Bakasana. Mm -hmm. So now, from here, set the hand, lean forward, and then maybe just take one toe up like that. And then maybe another toe. There you go. You just play with that. A little balance. If you're there, you can take it up into Shirshasana, or you can jump back. And lower back down. And jump back. Child's pose, well deserved. You can either reach the fingertips out in front, cactus to the side, or stack fists one on top of the other to rest your forehead. Continuing to remaining active in the child's pose, active with the ujjayi breath, mula bandha, or continuing to Nourish this seed. Nourish this goal. Take into Nira Kunjasana, heart opening pose. So just like puppy pose, we come forward and slide onto the heart, lifting the chin with the arms in a cactus. Pushing down through the heart. Yep. Chin up. So the elbows are going to be flat on the around like you're making a field goal sign. Perfect. You can take it to near Kunjasana 2 or stay here, interlacing fingertips behind the back, pushing down through your throat. You can also take it back into child's pose. And take it back, Balasana. Child's pose. Adomukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. For the challenging portion today, we're going to be going into Vashistasana options. You can take Vashistasana prep. It's a side plank, or you can take Purna Vashistasana or Vashistasana. So we take our right hand out in front, stack the feet coming onto the outer edge of the right foot, left arm comes up. You can stay here. If this is too much, you could bring your top foot to the center of the mat, or you can take it into tree pose or Purna Vashistasana. Wherever you are, open your heart, take your head back, and don't be afraid of falling. If you do, just go into wild thing, Kamatkarasana. Flipping the left foot over and reaching the left arm back, bicep along your face, looking at your fingertips. Inhale, switch it back, bend your knees, turbo dog, look up, and jump into Bakasana, crow pose. <laughs> you can practice jumping, you can practice hopping, be playful, don't be afraid, and jump back, vinyasa, vashistasana on the left, take your left hand a few inches in front, stack the feet, and push down through the soles of your feet to take the hips up even higher. Wherever you were on the previous pose, do the same thing here. Either the prep, the tree, the Purna Vashistasana. Eventually, we're going to fall out of it and enter your wild thing. Open the heart, lift it up, head back, reach the hand back. Inhale, flip it back over, turbo dog. Look at your, the space between your hands. And jump into Bakasana, round two. Very good. After a few breaths, jump back, take a vinyasa.
Step the right foot forward in between your hands. Back knee down. Hand on top of your, your thigh and pause. Ekapada Raja Kapotasana Dos. From here, take your left hand back to reach for the left foot. And with your right hand, you can reach your right arm across your chest to also grab your left foot, if that's available. If it's not, then you can take your right arm and simply bring it up or keep it on your thigh. Release the back foot down. Subramanyasana. Next, we take our head and attempt to bring it under the leg. If it does go under the leg, mazel tov. Mm -hmm. Great. If not, you're just working on bringing the forehead as close to the leg as possible. Take your back knee up. If you're able to bring your left shoulder down and elbow down to the mat, then you take the left hand to the hip, lean forward, kick the right foot down, and then lift the left foot up. Very nice. And come out. Vinyasa. Left leg forward in between your hands, back knee down. Kapadaraja Kapotasana 2. Bend the right knee. Take your hand for the inner edge of the foot, inhale, kick the foot back, and exhale, bring the foot closer forward. You can reach across your chest with your left hand. Continuing with the ujjayi breath, and opening the heart, and be proud in your pose. Be proud of what you are creating. And release the back foot, Subramanyasana. Taking the head underneath the leg or the forehead towards the foot with the back leg straight. If you're able to get the head and trap it behind the leg, take your shoulder and elbow to the ground, eventually lifting up the back leg using the support of your left hand on your hip. The key is to lean forward. Keep leaning forward so if you were going to oh, fall, yeah. you fall forward. Beautiful. Nice. And vinyasa. Oh, nice body. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Inhale, bend your knees. Look forward at the space between your hands and come to a seat. Harda Matsyandrasana, prep. Extend the left leg straight and cross the right leg over the left. Take the right hand behind your back. Inhale, reach left arm up. Exhale, twist, hooking the elbow over the thigh. So that's good, but just switch hands. Continue to flex the left foot and use your eyes as a, to look for something that might be out of your sight originally. Inhale, untwist, Ardhamatsandrasana 2. You can come into half lotus now with your right foot or take it into a tree pose, Janashirsasana. So just here. If you're unable to go into lotus, and take your right hand to the left big toe, left hand behind the back. So left hand behind the back, right hand forward to the big toe. Continue to look at your big toe, use that as your drishti. Inhale, come up, 
and we switch hands. Reach now with your left hand forward, and the right hand can go behind your back and reach for the big toe. So the right hand goes behind the back now, big toe, and left hand forward. So what did that be for? Hmm? Well, first we did the opposite hand reaching, um, and then we do... That's what I needed. Oh, so that if you did it the opposite, yeah. then just yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we all get we'll all get to the same place at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale up and cross both legs and attempt to push up vinyasa, kicking back. Maybe not in notice. <laughs> yes. Bend the knees, look forward, and jump back into another seated position. Ardha Matsandrasana, prep. Extending right leg, left foot crosses over, reach the left arm back, inhale, right arm up, exhale, twist. Maintain the integrity in your spine. In yoga, we're working energy. We want to maintain the proper alignment so the channels can flow. Inhale, untwist, Ardhamatsandrasana 2, coming into Half Lotus, or you can bring the foot into Janu Shirshasana. Reaching opposite arm across for the big toe. Other hand goes behind your back. Continue to draw muscle energy up from the kneecap to the hip, engaging the quad by pushing down the hamstrings into the mat. Inhale, lengthen, switch arms, take the right arm up, left arm reaches for the big toe, and forward fold. So as Mari is doing here, is perfect and amazing, but if you're unable to get as deep as Mari, then you want to maintain your eyes looking up at the big toe, and eventually, no Mari, you're great, you're wonderful, perfect, good. And if you keep looking at your big toes, then eventually your head is going to get closer and closer and closer until one day you tuck the chin and rest your forehead. Inhale, come up, cross your legs, set your hands, push back, vinyasa. Have a seat, open the legs wide apart for Upavishta Konasana. Take your hands, manually remove the flesh from underneath your sit bones and inner rotate your legs one thigh at a time. Take your hands behind your back and arch and look up. Exhale, forward fold, maintaining the engagement of the legs. Continue to flex the feet, pushing the toes back and pushing the hamstrings down. Engage so strong, pushing down through the hamstrings and kicking out through the heels, that maybe your pelvis will lift up a little bit off the mat even. Focus more on the strength in your legs than anything else. Inhale, come up, and take the left arm to your right big toe, going into your twist. So you're going to use the strap for one leg. And you can reach with your right hand for the strap. Your left elbow can go to the inside of your leg for support. And also, you see how Gabby is sitting on the block? Mm -hmm. That'll also help you as well. So this way you don't have as much roundness in the lower back. Inhale, come up and switch sides. Root down through the right hip, right sit bone. Inhale, lengthen, come back up. And one more time, taking it deeper, forward fold. So use these steps now. Take one 
inch, you got one foot. Foot. And now you can focus more on just the engagement of the legs and sticking your doing this with your chest. So just and that's it. Perfect. Try to lean more forward. Inhale, come up and close the legs and take a seat. You can continue to face um, where you are. And bend your knees, soles of the feet down, Dwi Bhuja Varasana. Reach the arms forward inside the hands, exhale, right arm to the ribcage, elbow in, left elbow to the ribcage, elbow in, and then push your toes and feet down, take your throat back, and close your eyes, and you can go within. So open the legs wider, and then reach, reach. As far forward as you can. Reach like this with your hands. Reach this way all the way. And now go for it one at a time. Nice. You in there? That's good. Take the hands behind your back and just stretch your chin up, stretch your throat. Lifting up your heart to the sun where so the seed can grow. It's still there. It's always been there. We just have to align ourselves. And good. Take a comfortable seated position. You may sit on a block to elevate your hips or take Padmasana, Sukhasana, wherever you are. And Makula Mudra, once again, taking all five fingertips, touching them together in both of your hands. Come bring your fingertips to your shoulders. Take the elbows, squeeze them into the center. And inhale, lift the elbows up over your head, and look up at your elbows. Up higher. You don't have to be together here. Okay. And exhale, open the elbows wide apart, squeezing the upper back together. And exhale, elbows in. Squeezing the elbows in. Skanda Chakrasana. Inhale, elbows up. And exhale, elbows wide. And exhale, elbows in. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, elbows wide. Deep inhale. Exhale, elbows in. One more round. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, elbows out. And good. Take your hands, right hand on top of left yogis, left hand on top of right yoginis, and just sit in meditation and stillness. Visualizing a light at the base of your spine that's growing up into your heart center and continuing to grow to the crown of your head and out into the world. Visualize at your Muladhara chakra, your root chakra. Imagine a root that's rooting down into the ground, into the mat. That's very strong roots. Strong foundation and growing up through your shashumna, center channel, to the heart space and expanding. Open your eyes and take a vinyasa. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, jump to a seated position. Navasana. If you love yoga, you love this. 
So you can take your fingertips and place them behind the crease of your knees or extend the arms all the way out. Deep inhale, lifting the heart up. Exhale, lower halfway down. Lower back is round, shoulders are looking forward. Inhale, back up. Heart lifting. Big toes squeezing together, and if you're shaking, then that means that something inside of you is growing. Exhale, lower down halfway. Squeeze the big toes together. We're not going to do many of these. Give it all you've got. Inhale, back up. Last one. Deep inhale, heart lifts. Shine bright, exhale, lower down halfway. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one and a half, one, and Shatubandha Sharvangasana. Yoga is a system designed for growth, not stagnation. So we work very hard in the asanas in order to achieve our goals. Inhale, lift the hips up. Take the chin slightly away from your chest. Eyes are open, looking up towards your third eye. You can interlace your fingertips or you can just keep the elbows pushing down. As long as the shoulder blades are squeezing back. Awesome. And exhale, lower down, rest your hips, bring your palms together on top of your third eye, and close your eyes, and go back to your lakshaya. Lakshaya is a goal, it's what you were targeting. And it comes from the goddess Lakshmi. Lakshmi is the goddess of wealth. And we invoke Lakshmi whenever we're trying to pursue something or attain something, to achieve something, like a goal. It can be something materialistic, but it can also be something spiritual, or it can be simply knowledge. Because the knowledge and the truth is the greatest wealth that you can possibly ask for. Take it into Urdhva Dhanurasana, full wheel, setting the fingertips beside your ears. Inhale, arch the lower back. Exhale, scoop the tailbone, and inhale, come to the crown of your head. Adjust your hands. You can walk them further in and take them wider apart. Try to touch your nose to the ground and then inhale, push the arms up, lifting the heart to the ceiling and back through your hands. When you're ready to come down, tuck your chin and bring your shoulders down inside the line of your hands to protect your knees. Fingertips together on top of the third eye. And go back to that seed. Remember what it looked like when it was just in the palm of your hand? We planted it. And now what does it look like? You've been opening your heart. Maybe the outer layer is cracked. Maybe it's growing. It's expanding. Maybe it's changing colors. Maybe it's vibrating. Take it up one more time, Urdhva Dhanurasana, or you can revisit the bridge pose or a restorative bridge. If you're going into Urdhva Dhanurasana, you can do push-ups. The magic number today is six. And when you are ready to come down, we tuck the chin. And lower down. Shoulder stand. Salambasharvangasana. Push down through the elbows. Lift the hips up. Use your hands to support your waist. Walk the shoulder blades in. And take your chin slightly away from your chest. Squeeze big toes together. Plow pose, halasana. 
keeping your hands on your lower back until they feet touch down, and then interlacing fingertips behind your back. Ear pressure pose, Karna Padasana, bending the knees to the ears. And slowly lower down, extending the legs in front, big toes together. Use your forearms for support and come into Matsindrasana, fish pose. Big toes pointing. Heart lifting, throat opening. And stay here, take it to Uttana Padasana, lifting up the feet, palms together. Exhale, lower down, and lift your right leg up. Create a clasp behind your right hamstring. Arch the lower back and kick the leg forward firmly. Engaging your muscles and your legs and pushing them back onto the bone. Walk the hands a little bit further up the leg. You can reach for the big toe and take it towards your forehead. Keeping the left foot flexed, open the right foot out to the side, looking to the left and use your strap. Inhale up, same leg, other hand. Take it to the left. And inhale, come back to the center and switch legs. Left leg up. Interlace the fingertips behind the hamstring. Kick the leg forward, arching the back, pushing the tailbone down, shoulder blades down. PNF technique, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. We engage the muscle before we stretch the muscle to take it a little bit deeper. Walk the hands up the leg now. And you can go for the big toe and bring your forehead closer to the leg. to the left, looking over the right, flexing right foot. Inhale, center, and switch hands, taking it to the right. To the center, happy baby, Sukha Balasana. Hands to the inner edge, through the inner edge of your legs. You can cup your heels, kick up, take your right knee down to the mat, and take your left knee down to the mat, and reach for the outer edge of your feet, and then attempt to bring both knees down. Most important important thing in this pose is that you are happy, otherwise you're just a baby. <laughs> you're, that's right. And bring the knees into your chest, give yourself a hug, and twist to the right, looking over the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, take it to the other side, looking over the shoulder. And 
knees into the center. One more squeeze, and if there's anything that you need for your Shavasana, a blanket, a pillow, a bolster, make yourself comfortable. Essential oils, candles, music, and completely let go of everything. Let go of the effort. The effort has been done. It's been put forth, and now it's time to let that seed grow and let it flower and blossom.
Exhale, bring the knees into your chest and lay on your right side. You can use your arm as a pillow. Okay, time. Right. Very slowly as you get up into a comfortable seated position. The yellow seed reminds us to set goals and to target them. But we also have a lot of things going on in the universe. We also have a new moon, which is tonight. It's a great time to manifest things and to think about what you want. We also have the summer solstice, We're starting a brand new season. It's another good time. Think about what do you want. You can think about what you want for the next 20 days, for the next 13 days, maybe for the next four months. Whatever it is, remember it's inside your heart, and all you have to do is give it the attention and love that it needs to grow. Let's bring our palms together in front of our heart center. Close the practice with a chant of Om, a mantra for happiness and freedom to all beings. Inhale deep. Om. so much. Hope you enjoy. Namaste. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.